Hi Lana, uh, welcome once again. So we want to discuss some of the top six artificial intelligence skills to include in your resume uh, in 2025 and beyond. I don't know how to put this, but it's very, very essential in today's world to have some kind of artificial intelligence skills. So we are actually moving uh, from the conventional ways of doing things or how we can create our resume to including some basic AI skills. Because most companies nowadays are operating uh, some kind of generated content, right? Uh, they want to do some kind of marketing and do you have the right AI skills to enable them to do the right marketing and so on. So almost every function of an organization requires you to have at least some AI skills. Otherwise, if you don't have the right artificial intelligence skills, then you might not be uh, really relevant to a given organization, including yourself. So going forward, we need to really understand these particular essential skills that you can add to your uh, CV or resume, right? So why are AI skills necessary for your resume in the first place, right? So as I mentioned, uh, the jobs of the future are being shaped uh, today by technology and innovation. So as you are aware, the world is rapidly uh, becoming more digital. So if you want to succeed in your career or learn more job opportunities and even earn a uh, higher income, you'll need to acquire some digital centric skills to meet this fresh uh, challenge. Uh, so therefore, uh, professionals or other employers are seeking individuals uh, with this particular AI skills, right? So that you become relevant. And most employers want always to be ahead of uh, the game. So that's why you need to have some skills. So as I mentioned, the AI role in today's job market is actually uh, diverse and is being felt across all the uh, the sector. So you'll find people working with AI in a wide range of roles, including if you're an office manager, right, administrative assistant. Remember nowadays we have these AI kind of uh, kind of uh, skills, or rather AI tools that can always help organization do your, the job that you are doing, right. So for you to be ahead of the game, you also need to understand how this or how your job can use AI to make it uh, more effective and efficient. So people like scientists, conservation specialists, law enforcement officers, healthcare professionals, wherever you are, remember your job requires some kind of what AI uh, uh, skills, right? So. Uh, maybe to go straight to the point, I've indicated that you need to understand six intelligent or artificial intelligence skills for your resume. So you should mention these particular skills for you to be relevant, right? Like for example, if you are creating your resume or you are actually updating your LinkedIn page, ensure that at least you have some kind of prompt engineering uh, skills. Uh, understand some basic programming languages for artificial intelligence. Also understand some machine learning uh, languages. Understand best at the basic uh, neural uh, networks and deep learning. And of course, natural language processing. And of course, cognitive computing skills. I know you are listening and you are wondering. I'm not a computer uh, genius. I don't know these things. Why should I actually learn them? You realize that these things are just basic. As you can see, prompt engineering, if you look at the first one, is how you normally interact with your chat GPT, for example. So you prompt, you ask chat GPT to tell you something, like I have just shared a screenshot here, like tell me about how chat GPT works in two paragraphs. And you can see it has generated for you that particular information. So that's one scale, prompt engineering. Now, we are saying that you need to master how you do this prompt engineering effectively. Like, for example, if the organization wants to do some kind of a digital marketing, you need to do some in-depth prompt engineering for you to ensure that 
it gives you uh, the relevant uh, information that you require. So do you have the right skill? So you can always mention this. Then also the skill that you need to have is the programming languages for the AI. Now I'm not saying that you need to know everything here, but just learn one of them or just appreciate one language. In this list, I can encourage you to maybe understand how to use uh, Python, yeah, because it's a general purpose language that is used to de de develop these generic or uh, generative AI applications. So I don't crack your head learning Java if you are not a computer, <laughs> uh, of course, um, you don't like computer stuff or software development stuff. Of course, R also is a language that I really recommend you understand for data visualization and developing neural networks. I mean, those two, but more so Python. Uh, for those who don't, who are not within the domain of IT, uh, Python could be relevant. It's easy even to learn. Then we also have machine learning, right, is, which is a subset of artificial intelligence that automates data analysis and iterative learning. Now, I know this one can be a bit hard to learn, but you need just to appreciate uh, that it is the one that is used to do some kind of prediction. Like, for example, you can find machine learning engineers working on e-commerce shopping or recommendation algorithms, uh, facial recognition programs, digital ad platforms, and more. So, you are aware that chat gpt is being improved now and then so as these tools are becoming more and more into our places uh, more companies will require you to have some understanding of machine learning so i don't know how you get this information or how you take it but what i'm simply telling you that uh, beginning 2025 and beyond these are skills that are very, very important. Just the same way that you have been learning, if you go to school, you are told you have to learn about Microsoft Office, like Word. <laughs> you need to learn about Excel. You understand the thing. And, uh, th so we are now changing the tactics. So you have to learn these, and they are going to be very essential. So you have to learn machine languages. You have to learn prompt engineering and understand some programming languages that are used with AI. I know it's a tall order, but the uh, earlier we start appreciating and, and, and are really coming to terms that things are changing, uh, the better. Now, the other th artificial intelligence uh, skill that requires neural work, uh, neural networks and deep learning, right? Uh, this is a bit complex. So in neural network, multiple layers of processing, connecting, network nodes uh, will be very very essential right so these connections are structured so that information uh, passes through them in different ways re resulting in different or variety of outputs so there are three layers or rather uh, there's some kind of deep learning algorithm that requires your understanding so i know with the time uh, this neuron networks concept uh, will become relevant to what you're doing right now. Then we also have natural language processing, NLP, which is a subset of computer science, uh, which focuses on programming computers to understand language, right? So, of course, this is very technical, so I won't really force you to learn about it. But this is where computers are trained to uh, learn this language so that they can be able to interpret uh, it could be visuals, uh, audios, and so on, right? And see how they can be able to offer better services to maybe customers and so on. Then we have the last skill, uh, which is cognitive computing skills. Now, co cognitive simply means use of the mind or rather understanding some kind of things and comprehending them into details. So while the NLP, as you have mentioned, simulates human speech, cognitive computing attempts to mimic human thought, how you reason, right? How you think. So 
Cognitive computing engineers work to create computer systems that can recognize images, patterns, sentiment, risk, and more uh, so that they can respond to stimuli in a manner that's similar to how a person will uh, respond. So this is just with the understanding of how to generate a computer that thinks, reasons, just the same as a human being. Now with this understanding of skills, then it's time for us to demonstrate our AI proficiency on your resume. Because how are you going to place it uh, in your resume so that someone can understand that you are uh, AI compliant, right? Because most hiring managers will always look for specific AI skills. So you have to be as clear as possible, right? Like for example, I don't need to say uh, like I'm a programmer, I know multiple languages. That one is not going to be of really help because we are looking at a way of how you use that to offer some uh, solution, right? In getting that you have five of those experiences using Python is not going to really to, to work. So this is a solution, right? Quantify your achievements, right? When you're using your, uh, when or how you know how to use the AI, right? Like assigning specific quantifiable outcomes to your work in artificial intelligence is also important, right? Like for instance, a quantifiable outcome can be expressed as a, con a, a countable number. Like a quantifiable skill statement, uh, you can state this, my team used AI driven sentiment anal analysis to improve post purchase customer satisfaction by 20%. Uh, that is quarter over quarter. Now, this is just a, a general statement which offers some quantifiable uh, AI skill. So you don't need really to show the language that you have used, uh, the number of years. You can see how it, it is plain, right? And then we also we can use non-quantifiable skill here. Like for example, I had my team use an AI text analysis tool to find customer pain points when uh, shopping in our retail stores. So you can always uh, attach or have this within your resume. So it's very clear on how you can use AI to solve a particular problem. Because that's what hiring managers are looking for, isn't it? Then you can also have another quantifiable skill by building a customer application that used machine learning or support patterns in production and of course that also uh, we also have non quantifiable skill uh, we use chat gpt to analyze data and improve efficiency at our nairobi area production facility so those are a way that you can append your ai skills on your uh, resume lastly uh, how do you leverage ai skills within an interview like if you want to excel or rather have this particular job that requires AI skills. So if you, your resume or rather CV is going to capture or uh, catch the attention of the hiring manager, you may be asked to now go for the job and the job requires you to have one-on-one -on -one, a conversation with the hiring personnel and this one require you to be prepared. So you can have such kind of uh, verbal pre preparation. You can tell them uh, like for example, uh, they can ask, uh, you can explain your experiences in quantifiable terms, the way you have already seen, all right? And you can also walk the interviewer through how your AI skills have evolved over time and show that you, have, you are committed to growth. Uh, you can also do some kind of reference to specific machine learning skills with, that you have already uh, had, right? explain how you use specific soft and hard uh, uh, hard skills to address a problem on one of your recent projects and of course mention any other AI skills that even if they are not your speciali uh, speciality you have been exposed to through your work. So ladies and gentlemen that's how you can always leverage uh, your AI skills in interviews. As I mentioned as our parting shot, be get ready uh, for this particular change. 
right? Because this is where the world is going. So you need to prepare for these particular AI skills as early as possible and also in see how you can link them within your resume so that you become relevant in case there's a job advert that requires an AI a specialist. All right, thanks.